today we will learn different types of rom in this video we will discuss below types of rom m rom p rom e p rom and e e p rom m rom m rom stands for mask read only memory it is also a type of rom which was the first rom hardware device MROM contains a software mask that is born onto the chip during the semiconductor design manufacturing process. MROM are also known as masked ROMs which are cheap. MROM is used by a computer system that keep running for a long time. PROM The full form of PROM is programmable read only memory. This means that a user can program data into the PROM only once. The feature of PROM is that the user can program any data according to him. The person who writes the program in the PROM is called the PROM programmer or PROM burner. PROM never deletes the program itself. It means your programs are permanently saved in PROM. Once the data is programmed in the PROM, you cannot make any change to it. EPROM The full form of EPROM is erasable programmable read-only memory. This means that the EPROM memory chip has these features that you can erase the data of this memory chip and program the new data again and you can erase the new data again if you want. Erasing EPROM data is not easy, it is difficult. The device whose EPROM data is to be erased, then the EPROM has to be ejected from that device. Only then can the data in the EPROM be erased. Ultraviolet light has to be used to erase the data of EPROM and it takes about 40 minutes to erase the data of EPROM. EPROM data can be erased and programmed by a professional who is also called a PROM programmer or PROM burner. EEPROM The full form of EEPROM is electrically erasable and programmable read-only memory. This means that the EEPROM memory chip has this feature that you can easily erase the data of the EEPROM memory chip and can also program new data easily. Erasing EEP ROM data is easily compared to EP ROM because there is no need to take it out of the device to erase the data of the EEP ROM memory chip. Whereas to delete the data of EP ROM, the EP ROM chip has to be removed from the device. To erase the data of EEP ROM, electric power has to be used so that you can erase the data of EEP ROM according to you. For example, if you want, you can erase the data of entire EEP ROM memory chip at once. Or if you want, you can also erase the program, the data of the EEP ROM memory chip part by part. You can erase and program the data of the EEP ROM memory chip 10,000 times. It takes about 4 to 10 milliseconds to erase the data in EEP ROM. Thanks for watching the video. Like, share and subscribe our channel.